Okay, in this problem, we're asked to use the first derivative test to show that f attains a local extreme value at p. And f of x, y is equal to the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. And we're given that our point p is 0, 0. So this function is nice in the fact that we can see right away that at 0, 0, f attains a global minimum. So we can already use the first derivative test to um, determine what we're, we're looking for. So we want to uh, show that for all x not equal to p, so every point not, that's not 0, 0, the derivative, the total derivative of f at at um, x with respect to p minus x is exists and is less than zero. So we want to show that this is true since we're looking for a minimum. If we were showing that p was a maximum, we would show that the derivative is more than zero for all derivatives. So. Let's go ahead and calculate. So the total derivative tells us that we're going to be taking the gradient vector of f at x, dotting it with p, and then adding the gradient vector of f at x and dotting it with negative x. And so we know that p is 0, 0, so anything dotted with 0, 0 will be 0. So we're really just interested in the gradient vector of f at x dotted with negative x. So let's calculate the gradient vector of f. So the first component is going to be the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And that's one half. Oh. That's one half times the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, all raised to the power of negative one half, times four x cubed. And similarly, The, y the partial derivative of f with respect to y is 1 half times the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth to the power of negative 1 half times 4y to the third. So let's simplify this a little bit. So well, we can just go ahead and plug it in here. But we'll simplify it. So we have So we have 2x to the third over the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. And we have that. Um, Uh, 
we get negative um, the gradient vector of f dotted with x, y. Notice that for negative x, we just pulled the negative sign over. And we see that we get, if we compute the dot product, we get We get on the numerator 2x to the fourth plus 2y to the fourth, and then the denominator is the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. Notice I just took the dot product and then combined our terms since they're going to have a common denominator. And then don't forget that we also have the negative sign out front. So let's go ahead and pull a 2 out. And then we'll also multiply by the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, which is just, just multiplying by one. So we get The numerator of our new term is 2 times the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth times the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth, all divided by x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. We know that um, we can cancel that. So we get negative 2. times the square root of the quantity x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. Now notice that if x and y are zero, we get zero, but we want to consider all points x not equal to p, and our point p is at zero, zero, so we don't care about when it, x and y are zero, both zero. Um, now if x and y are both positive or both negative or um, just any non-zero, we see that this square root um, is going to be positive since any number raised to an even power will be positive, and the sum of two positive numbers are positive. So the square root of a positive number is positive, times a negative two will be negative, so it's less than zero for all points x and y. And so that shows that our total derivative of f at x with respect to p minus x is less than zero for every point that's not equal to p. So that shows that the first derivative test then tells us that we attain a local minimum at the point p, which is zero, zero.